Welcome back sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Leonalyn at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Now, let's answer a question from random post that ito ay nakapost sa ating Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Itong mga ganito, maraming kahalintulad ito sa mismong civil service exam. Siguro mga 10 items na merong mga chart-chart. Later, siguro by next month na lang siguro na gawa natin ng tutorial video or isolve natin yung ibang dating lumabas, yung mismong lumabas sa civil service exam dati. Siguro mga next month natin gawa yun ng mga tutorial video yung talagang dating lumabas sa mismo civil service exam. Pero laging tandaan when it comes to mga solving, yung mga ganito, never memorize the answers because that will never help you. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sagutan. Basahin muna natin itong question kasi sa actual na exam, mauubos yung oras nyo. Kung titingnan nyo muna yung chart, later na yung chart, basahin mo muna natin kung ano bang hanapin natin dyan. The chart above shows the distribution of employees at a company into different teams in different departments. According to the chart, how many total employees are there? So, ito yung mga department, merong development, marketing, accounting, at public relations. At ito naman yung number of teams, may 1, 2, 3, at 5, pero each team, employees per team, ito naman yung 4, 3, 2, 5. Ibig sabihin nito, i-multiply lang natin yan para makuha natin yung total. Sa development, isang team sila, tapos per team, 4 employees. So, multiply natin yan, 1 times 4, and this is 4. Next, sa marketing, dalawang team yan siya. Kada team merong tatlong employees. So, therefore, 2 times 3, and this is 6. Ganun din sa next, 3 times 2, and this is 6. 5 times 5, and this is 25. I-add lang natin yan. 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 5. Meron akong shortcut kung paano mag-add ng mga ganyan. Iparis natin yan. 4 plus 6, 10 yan siya. So, mag-line tayo. 6 plus 5 and that is 11. So, mag-line tayo kasi yan yung 10. Yung 1, is isulat natin sa baba. Next, i-count natin yung ilan yung 10 natin dito. We have 1. 2, so yung 2 natin ay i-add natin dito sa isang 2. 2 plus 2 and this is 4. Kaya ang sagot dito ay 41. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.